Joe Biden and Ukraine's first lady poking fun at Meg in Buckingham Palace with Kate, only you can color. Maybe Meghan was screaming in anger in Montecito as she watched Kate pose for pictures with the first ladies at the coronation. These are the relationships and status she craved but gave up in pursuit of illusory fame in America. On the eve of King Charles's coronation, the royal family hosted some of the most notable guests who will attend Saturday's ceremony. Catherine, Princess of Wales, met American First Lady Jill Biden and Alina Zelenska, the First Lady of Ukraine, during a reception for heads of state at Buckingham Palace on May 5th. The three women posed for photos together during the reception, which was held in honor of overseas guests attending the coronation, and Joe Biden also brought her granddaughter Finnegan Biden with her for her trip across the pond. On May 4th, Jill Biden posted a photo of herself waving as she boarded a plane to fly to London. Headed to the UK for the coronation of King Charles III, the first in 70 years, she captioned the picture. It's an honor to represent the U.S. for the historic moment and celebrate this special relationship between our countries. A U.S. president has never attended the coronation of a British monarch. Back in April, President Joe Biden told Charles that he would like to meet with the king in the U.K. at a later date. The coronation of Charles marks the first time a new British monarch will be crowned in 70 years. Charles's mother, the late Queen, who died September 8, 2022, at age 96, was the longest reigning monarch in British history, first taking the throne in 1952. In addition to the reception for heads of state, Charles and British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak met with leaders of the Commonwealth at Marlborough House on Friday. Charles is head of the Commonwealth, an association of more than 50 countries including Australia, Canada, Singapore, and Kenya. The king, his eldest son, Prince William, and the former Kate Middleton also staged an impromptu walkabout to greet the excited crowds already gathering on the Grand Boulevard that leads to Buckingham Palace. According to Reuters, the trip of royals were met with tears of hip hip hurrah and God save the king. Joe Biden on Friday met with Kate, Princess of Wales, and Ukraine's first lady, Elena Zelenska, after she touched down in England ahead of King Charles III's coronation. Kate shared a snapshot of the trio on social media Friday, saying it was lovely to see Biden and Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky's wife, the screenwriter Zelenska. In the photo, the group is all smiles as they pose together. The gathering comes a day before Charles is poised to be crowned at Westminster Abbey in London. Biden, who arrived to the UK on Thursday, is heading up the US delegation for the coronation. It was a who's who of foreign royals and world leaders as the grandest of grandees gathered to celebrate the coronation of King Charles with the Buckingham Palace reception on Friday night. Hosted by King Charles with support of the Prince and Princess of Wales, the exclusive soiree gave the royal family an opportunity to welcome their international guests ahead of Westminster Abbey service on Saturday. It echoes a similarly high-powered engagement held on the eve of Queen Elizabeth II's funeral, although of course this was a far more celebratory occasion. Politicians and leaders from the UK and across the world also donned their finery for the royal reception. US First Lady Joe Biden brought along her granddaughter Finnegan Biden. Ukraine's First Lady Elena Zelenska proudly represented her husband Vladimir Zelensky, while Ursula von der Leyen, President of the European Commission, made an entrance with her husband, Heiko Ector von der Leyen. There were also representatives from former monarchies and royal houses, Margarita of Romania and Prince Radu of Romania looked sharp as they made their way up the steps of the palace.